So I've mentioned in previous videos that my Mavic 2 Zoom has been having a bit of an issue. And today is the day we are going to perform surgery on it. More about it after this. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Keith and on today's video, I'm going to be replacing the camera and gimbal assembly on my Mavic 2 Zoom drone because I think there's an issue with it. Now, about a year ago, towards the beginning of 2020, I was showing off my drone to a buddy of mine and I was up at about 80 meters flying in sports mode in a straight line, full pelt, showing the speed of it. And all of a sudden, it just dropped out of the air. Now, I don't think I hit anything. I certainly couldn't see anything when I found the drone. As luck would have it, it fell into long grass, which was very lucky. So when I eventually located the drone, the only damage that I could see on it was the, the plate inside that holds the gimbal. Um, one of the shock absorbers on the end had snapped off. Now I took it back to the dealer where I bought it from and he replaced it for three. So thank you very much for that. But ever since then, the footage that I've been getting back, I've noticed a flutter, a shake every now and again in my footage. And sometimes it completely ruins the shot. Now I've been tearing my hair out thinking I'm gonna to have to send this back to DJI. Now my buddy over at Kovaction Droneography, Chuck, who does all the live streams with me on this channel and his channel, um, he suggested that I replace the gimbal and he just so happened to have a spare one lying around. So I've got basically a brand new gimbal and today we're gonna to replace that and see if that works because if it does, my drone's all sorted, thanks very much. Now we are going to perform some surgery. So let's get into it. Okay, here's the drone in question, and uh, we're gonna do some surgery on it. So first off, obviously we need to remove the uh, gimbal cover here. And the first two screws we are going to remove are these. And I have to use, I think it's a Star 1.2 that should work. There we go. So we're gonna remove these two screws first. I've got the replacement gimbal here. Thanks to my really good buddy Chuck over at Cove Action Dronography. Much appreciated. It went on a bit of a world tour before it got here, but uh, it got here in the end. So we're going to remove these two screws here. And then this is going to lift off and then up and away like that. It's on a pair of hinges. Now, the cable that we need to lift off, and we're going to use one of these lovely little opening tools here, is this one here and that's now disconnected there are two screws here which i think are no they're the same so we're going to remove these as well then there's the two little screws here that we need to take off there we go now in theory that is it this whole unit should lift out except it's not There you go, that's the whole unit lifted out. There we go. So that's the one that we think has a problem. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna plug the uh, other unit back in and hope that this is what the problem has been. So it's gonna go in at a slight angle, which we've just figured out. And there we go. So a new unit in. And now we're going to screw it all back in again. Before we plug those screws in, we've got to push this down so it connects, which it is. There we go. It's all connected. It really is that simple. Six screws in total and one jumper. Now is the moment of truth. So yep, gimbal is calibrating. I've got my smart controller here. Well, we have a signal uh, it's on manual, so let's switch it to auto, and there we go. So, let's see. 
Oh, can record. And it's working. You can see there. Let's see if we can zoom. And we can zoom in as well. So the next thing is to uh, take it outside and uh, test it in the actual air. So that's what we're going to do now. Got the drone just outside my house. Got my smart controller here and we're going to give it a go. So I've got the screen recording on here so we'll switch to the view on my smart controller and let's get this drone up in the air. We'll see what it could do. Well, so far there is no gimbal flutter whatsoever, which is a really good sign. What we're going to do is we're going to do a point of interest around my house. Now we're going to record this. None. Absolutely no flutter whatsoever. You see, I would have seen lots of flutter by now. This is footage directly from the drone. Well, the good news is that it appears to have fixed it. No more flutter in the gimbal whatsoever, which is really cool. I'm just gonna bring it down now. Okay, so uh, it looks like the replacement gimbal has fixed my drone. I cannot tell you what that means. So thank you, Chuck, so much for sending me this gimbal. It's got my baby working again. I do now own the Mavic 2 Air as well as owning this drone. Um, I think I'm eventually going to replace the gimbal on this with the Pro Gimbal if I can get one um, because I just don't need the zoom function anymore. You've got a digital zoom on the Mavic Air 2 which works really quite well. Um, optical zoom will always give you that better effect but to be honest I use it so rarely now that um, I don't need it. I'd rather get the Pro camera on this drone because it makes much more sense but I can't tell you what it uh, means to get this drone working again. It's really been quite depressing knowing that I I haven't been able to fix this drone and not really knowing what it is. As it turns out, it was the gimbal. So replacing the gimbal has fixed it. So Chuck, thanks so much for sending me this, mate. Um, if you uh, don't know who Chuck is, he is the guy that I do uh, the live streams on this channel with. He uh, has his own channel, Covaction Droneography. Please check that out and like and subscribe on that. And if you enjoyed this vid video and enjoy content like this, I make lots of videos around drones, photography, vlogs, and now live streams. So please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. But for now, bye-bye.